Well, hello, planner friends. Long time no see. It's been about two weeks since I uploaded on YouTube. I was in Turks and Caicos for a while. I want to show you that spread. I decided to do some memory planning. So I wrote down the information over here. I need to keep filling this out over here. I even did some of the weather. And then I didn't write down anything over here, but I did do this. So I used a $1 Wednesday kit from, uh, from uh, Fabulously Planned. It came like this. I just used the large boxes. Um, I didn't use any of, you know, these ones, but I thought that that would be perfect for the beach and it was so as you can see I did a full box no I did use one of the smaller ones for today's highlight I did not get around to doing Thursdays or Fridays because I was very very sick and I will get into that in a little bit and then I had pre planned everything for the week following and then I just I, I never followed through again because I was really sick so I'm just gonna keep going I'm gonna do another layout like this here and then I have a whole bunch of washi to uh, choose from this is also gonna be kind of like a mini haul um, so let's start with that the first thing that I want to show you is from Studio L2E. I had ordered this actually a while ago, maybe it was a little over a month ago. So the first thing that I got was these tabs. They are hollow on like a matte black and I definitely will be using it for my A6 Stalogy, but this one, unfortunately, the foiling got a little weird, but let me see if I can focus. But I think it kind of looks like the moon like that, so I'm going to live with it. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's like a happy mistake, you know? And then I got these. Sometimes she has these in stock, so you'll have to take a look at it. And it's called boxes and lists and it's just like those flat lays they speak to me and then look this is like the perfect just you know whatever box but I wanted to break out the Hobonichi and show you I'll go to like a blank stay flat so these small threes they fit in these boxes perfectly these smaller ones it's awesome so if she has these in stock go run and then um, these this flat lay this longer narrow one also fits in there so yeah you don't have a lot of stickers or you don't want to buy a lot of stickers this is gonna be a good one so go check it out that's again studio l2e and then I got my pre-sale washi in I don't remember the names anymore sorry but I got this one I got this one I love this size I got the green to mauve. I unfortunately don't have a lot of mauve. It's mostly green. Don't know how I feel about that yet. Um, this is the... Was this just like galaxy bows maybe? I'm not sure. This one's really pretty. And then this is a non presale, But this is just the simple line washi. And then the floral. The matching floral. So, I don't know which washi I'm going to use yet in this spread. We'll figure it out as we're going along. 
And also, I have another announcement, but let me grab a sticker to show you. I'll do it over here. Yeah, so I've been really, really sick uh, recently. Um, <clears throat> And that is because I'm pregnant. I found out a week and a half before my trip. So that was excellent timing, I suppose. But I got these stickers from Pink Popsicle Studio. They're super cute. They fit inside my Hobonichi really well. And um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. I This was unplanned. Big fat positive. That was the day I found out. It was unplanned. Um, I'm just... I'm, I'm still kind of just trying to process everything. Um, I mean, obviously that's... Everyone... I, I, I don't know how to talk about it. Let's, let's just put it that way. I don't know how to talk about it yet. Um, yeah. So let's let's just get into it. <sighs> we'll do what I normally do. We'll start over here. Yeah, I don't know what washi I'm going to use. But let's do... Um, decisions, decisions. I mean, these four could technically go together. Yeah, let's just do that. So I'll use gray. I have um, two boys already. One's five. The other will be three next month. And I was about to rejoice because diaper season that season of my life was going to soon be over. And now I'm starting over again. And I'm not old. Old. It's not like... Not like... I'm 31, so it's not like... Ooh. You're a little old to be having children there, Christina. But, you know, if, if it's not something you plan for, it can just... It can just really throw you for a loop and and that's exactly what it's done for me and I've been so incredibly sick so so sick I'm not exaggerating I wake up extremely nauseous I go to bed extremely nauseous if I have to wake up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom I'm nauseous there's never a moment that I'm not extremely nauseous and it's getting really old and I can't, I can't eat any of the things that I want to. I don't take pleasure in food. Just writing these in. Cool. And then, um, yeah, I guess this is still May, isn't it? <laughs> you don't, you guys don't even know. I'm so out of it. The past two weeks, I've just been on survival mode. Good job, Bo. Nope, no more. Okay, so my son wanted to talk to me for a little while, so I just filled the rest of this out. Um, and then I'm going to move on to this section. So it's Thursday already, so I'm not going to, you know, fill in Monday, Tuesday. I'm just going to start with Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. <clears throat> so normally, yeah. I don't know why I did it this way, but that week. But normally it looks like this. Ah. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. 
Okay. Oh, but before I did that, I wanted to do this. So let's pick out. Yeah, so that's my big life update. Um, I am due. This is this is really. I don't know if it's sad or or good, but I'm. My due date is December twenty fifth. So um, I uh, I think that's probably the worst day of the year to have a birthday because I mean, wouldn't you feel gypped? I, I would to have your birthday the same day as Christmas. So I'm hoping that the baby comes late or early. Um, let's pray that it's early because my first one was 10 days late and my second one was seven days late. And that was because we induced at seven days. They didn't want me to go, they didn't want me to go past because, um, they knew that he was heavy already. <clears throat> I mean, I hope that this isn't TMI, but my second son weighed 11 pounds, five ounces. And yes, I delivered the natural way. Um, I did not have a C-section and he came out on the third push. So I know that I am capable of uh, delivering. I just, just don't want to freaking do it. Can you blame me? Hopefully not. All right. So Thursday, today's the sixteenth. Saturday. Sunday. What did I say? 18, 19. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me below. I'm pretty, generally pretty open about this kind of stuff because, you know, as women, that's just, you know, that's our lot in life. We have, we have babies and sometimes it's a great experience and sometimes it's not. And I'm just hoping that this is a good experience when it's time because so far this nausea is it's old. It is getting so old. I said that to my husband last night. I'm like, I, I, I can't deal with this much longer. But I'm, you know, two weeks, so I, it's probably going to be an entire month before it eases up. Because usually around the second trimester is when that gets better. <clears throat> yeah. So anyway, there's a uh, Simply Gilded release tomorrow, Friday. I have decided that I am not going to partake in that. She has um, some of the, this size coming up and uh, some, I think it's the same size but just with the stars. It's just a mini release and I'm, I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass. I've decided that I don't need to have something from every single release. I mean, my washi stash is already overflowing. Oh, this one has that line. Will. playing in the background. 
She's my favorite. So, since I've been so sick lately, I haven't really, I haven't done too much planning. I haven't done, I haven't had any creativity sparks whatsoever. I've just, I, I have literally just been hanging on, guys. I assume that later on, you know, it'll, it'll come when I'm feeling better. So I haven't. I haven't been crafting, which is very unlike me. I just can't, I can't even sit down and deal with it, but today I am. Today I am, because I missed being on YouTube, so being involved. That's cool. I like that. I like that. Alright, so normally... On these pages, I just do either a bottom or a top washi. I did top this week and then lower. So we can do whatever the heck we want. I'm going to do bottom washi on these two pages so that I can show this roll off. We can find the end. There it is. What did you guys get during the pre sale? Did you guys go totally ham or did you really rein yourself in? I want to know. Because as you can see, I did not go ham. I only got a few rolls. And I didn't get the sets either. I decided that I might not like them that much. That I liked this Galaxy one better. So, yeah. And also, I mean, to be honest, I've got a lot of washi-loving friends that if I ever kindly asked, I know somebody would give me a swatch, so. You know. Straighten that out a little bit. I'm gonna have a bit of a crease, but that's, that's okay. This washi is just so pretty. This simple line one, I love it. Love it. A simple kind of gal, I guess. I've also been trying to be really careful about like what I what Hobonichi weeks kits that I get I kind of just like simple I have found so one week instead of using a kit I just used washi and I really liked how it turned out and I might just I'll use up what I have but I think I might just I might just do that this is the week. I got a um, uh, Planners Anon kit. This was the whale song. Anyway, the, their large washi almost fits perfectly down here. So, and it's foiled. Look at that. Nice. Anyways, I, yeah, I really like how this looks. I just, I just love the simplicity, you know? All right, there we have it. I'm ready to do some journaling or whatever the heck I want. I could add some washi at the top there, but I think I'm just going to keep it simple and just like this. Um, yeah, that, that's all I got, really. You know, I, just, I feel like a lot of YouTubers are really great at just talking. And I'm, I'm really not. I'm really not. There we go. That looks more cohesive. So thanks guys for watching. Um, I'm not going to fill this in right now because I'm 
I'm getting a little bit worn out, but thanks for listening to me. Pray for me. I need, I need all the prayers right now. You know, I'm still trying to make peace with, you know, being pregnant when I really just didn't expect to ever put my body through that again. So uh, anyway, enough about that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.